what do you consider the most positive aspect of the community of Great Falls? Uh, for me, that would be the business owners of Great Falls. Um, they're the, probably the most important tax base of the city besides uh, homeowners themselves. And um, for example, this year when we were trying to get the 4th of July parade together, um, if it wasn't for city uh, business owners, it probably actually wouldn't have come together. Uh, a huge thank you could be given out to a Jim Flipowitz for his uh, contributions to making the 4th of July parade happen. So uh, I would say to me, it would be the business owners of Great Falls. Do you agree with approving the first ever park district, which could amount to a $2.27 million annual increase in property taxes? I do not. Um, currently as it stands, uh, the parks are an issue that I find to be strange, a lot of people argue that the city has parks to be attractive for businesses and companies to bring their businesses to Great Falls, but we can't maintain them, so I don't see how they're attractive to people if they can't be maintained in the first place. The Park District 1 is a really good idea, and we do need something that is going to correct the course that we've currently taken. Um, I just don't agree with the way that this year uh, the park district was almost approved by the city by sending out surveys and the surveys not returned meant a yes vote. Um, I feel like it was kind of a shady move by the city commission um, and I don't really like all of the aspects of the park district one but there is a lot of it that could be when refined yes it, it is actually something that the city needs but as is park district one no I'm not interested in the way it currently stands. Cascade County has one of the highest rates of child abuse in the state. What needs to be done to bring it down? What needs to be done versus what is being done, um, it's hard to say that we can do much about it because that's, it all comes down to families and child rearing and addictions and the problems that the city has that unless we have more money and a larger tax base to spend into our health care system, um, I mean all we could try doing is making people better people. but. Uh, as it stands, the, unless the budget had extra money, we could throw away the health care system. I don't see how we could have any influence over that. What's the biggest obstacle for creating new business in Great Falls, and what can be done to streamline that process? I think the toughest thing for new business owners nowadays is competing with the Internet. The Internet businesses, um, Amazon, for example, and Prime, and having two-day shipping, that's, uh, that's, that's rough to fight against. Um, most online companies offering 10%, offering free shipping. Um, unless you have a company that has the, I can buy it now, I can have it now, I can walk in your store, try it on. You need to change your business model entirely. So Great Falls um, has, a, has a pretty big struggle ahead of them um, if we cannot come up with a way to compete with internet business. Uh, unless people start moving their businesses, maybe the direction of internet and, and such. We've seen a recent revitalization in downtown. How do we grow downtown even more? I think one of our biggest headaches with downtown right now is parking. People complain a lot about the parking. Um, if we could get the parking sorted out, I think that would be one good step in the right direction. And the second part of that is um, a lot of people are afraid to go downtown. There's been a lot of uh, crime lately. There's a lot of drunks wandering the streets at night. There's a lot of aspects that make downtown not attractive to people to be after uh, it gets dark out. So um, I know the homeless shelter is located downtown in an ideal spot and stuff. I know there's a lot of uh, Section 8 subsidized housing downtown. Things probably aren't going to change uh, anytime soon unless maybe stuff like that is considered a new location or um, even just more policing of the area. Uh, but again, we would need more police or something for that to be the case. Are there any other important aspects of improving the community that you would like to touch on? I find it interesting that years ago, uh, Great Falls had an opportunity to have a water park brought to Great Falls and we kicked it away. And instead now the city runs a water park. Um, there's a number of things that uh, don't make sense to me that the city tries tapping into um, and I feel like if uh, we kicked away less opportunities, both of those two things, not doing what the private sector could be doing, and um, those would probably be 